So I'm here sitting in my my room that my uh, friends have allowed me to stay in while I'm here for my visit and I just wanted to just give you a little update on what's going on. I don't have a lot of stuff to t talk about in terms of what's going on in Ecuador. Um, we'll do another video either later today or tomorrow on whatever updates I can find about anything that's new or worthy of really uh, reporting, okay? Uh, probably, I probably won't have anything more than what you've already heard. I just kind of briefly just going through some of the uh, Facebook pages that have offered lots of information and uh, I'll put a link in the description to this one video that I found that was put out uh, by, oh, the Newsmakers, okay? It's the Newsmakers. It's a pretty good video, so it's rather long, so be prepared, but it's about Ecuador's war within, and it's some very useful information in there that I think that if you want to keep up with what's going on here, you should... Uh, these are the type of videos that you should watch. They're produced by what I think is credible sources, and you can believe what you what you read. Okay, the president. This is from a day ago. The president uh, of Ecuador, Daniel Noboa, announced the signing of an agreement with the United States that includes the delivery of Russian-made systems, equipment, and weapons that are still in its armed forces in exchange for more modern military equipment worth $200 million. I'll put a link to that video in the description as well if you want to see that. I got to tell you, the uh, oh, here's another. It, if, if you look on this one page, Ecuador expat discussion, if you get on this page and look at any of the articles that you see from Nicholas Crowder, uh, read those, okay, because they're going to be credible and it's not going to be fake news, okay? He did an article here about the impact of the curfew is paid by the employees of bars and nightclubs in Quito. So every time we have, you know, a curfew, it hurts it, the economy quite a bit because people here in Ecuador go out late at night. I don't know how many times I've been invited to dinner at 8 o'clock, and rather difficult, you know, but that's just the way it is. That's the culture here, and that's what they do. They eat late at night. They party late at night. And what's happening when they have these curfews, it really hurts the all the businesses that cater to the party crowd, which is a lot of people, especially on the coastal regions here like Monta and Waikil. I'm going to put links to a lot of interesting articles in the description so you can read them at your, your leisure and... In the meantime, I just want to tell you, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people will get a big kick out of this. I never, I knew it was not going to be cheap coming to the U.S. And I found that out when I went to buy gas for the truck that I'm driving here. It's a nice full-size Chevy pickup truck. It cost me $66.59 to fill it up yesterday which was a shocker for me even and that's even at a, a good price that the, the the gas was like 378 a gallon I believe I've also discovered that to eat out here um, boy <laughs> this is a joke I went to a breakfast this morning at a place called oink like oink oink they're supposed to be really well known for their bacon and their good service and their friendly atmosphere and all that stuff. And I agree with that. It's awesome atmosphere, great service. I ordered a two eggs, two slices of bacon, an English muffin, a bowl of fruit, a cup of coffee, and a small glass of milk. And it cost me $22.23. Okay. I gave her a 15% tip, so it's $25.73. There it is, you know, for breakfast. One thing that's good for you to know is that in Ecuador, you can have more 
of this breakfast at Dulce and Cremoso for $6.50 and you don't have to tip. So I went to the grocery store and bought me some groceries and I paid $14 for some cereal and milk and some other stuff and some bananas and fruit and stuff. And it wasn't too bad. But I know that to, uh, Juan and I went to eat burgers the other night. We went to a place called Cold Beer and Cheese Burgers. And it was, without a doubt, the cheeseburger that has called a hangover. And it has like a half a pound patty in it, grilled on the grill, sautéed onions, everything. A fried egg, the whole works, cheese, bacon, everything. I had one beer, and that, the hangover and uh, fries, one had basically the same thing. And the bill is fifty dollars and some change. It's expensive, but what I don't understand—I mean, I—we should never complain about the cost of eating out in the United States. And the reason why I say this is because we drive up and down the street where all these restaurants are, and they're all packed. They're all packed. So don't bitch about the cost of eating out here. In the United States, if you just if you're just going to flock in there, and and buy this stuff, that's what people are doing. You pay it, they'll charge it. Okay, everybody knows that. It's simple supply and demand economics. You'll never see prices like this in Ecuador. Never. Not that I th I don't think you will, but that's the way it is here. I'll be glad when I'm I'm done with my visit and I can. Go back home to Monta and hopefully everything will be settled down. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got for today. There's not a whole lot to share. Uh, as things come up, as, as far, let me go back to Ecuador for a second. As far as my recommendations on going there, I still say if you're going to Ecuador and you're going to the coast like Monta or heaven forbid you're going to Esmeraldas or even Waikil, I would say don't. I would just wait. Just put it off. If you can put it off, just put it off, okay? Uh, it, it's, it's, believe me, you, you don't want to just come here and then sit in your room because that's what you'll do. I know some of you, ah, ah, no problem for me. I can go out. But go ahead, knock yourself out. Make sure you got your affairs in order just to be on the safe side and uh, have fun, okay? All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching this channel. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, well, I know there's some of you anal pores that don't like it. Bite me, okay? And I say that with peace and love. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.